Hurricane season is a few days away and assisted living facilities in particular are being urged to pay special attention. The combined threat of a flood and coronavirus is something officials don't want to happen. Here's Channel 5's John Paul Barajas. Texas Health and Human Services is urging places like nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and hospice centers to update their emergency preparedness plans, adding planning is even more crucial now with the ongoing health crisis. New safety measures have been added to almost all ways of life. At Comfort House in McAllen, everyone gets their temperature taken and must wash their hands when they come in. As a hospice center, the residents have shown to be some of the most vulnerable to the coronavirus. In the world we're living in right now, it, 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 they're scary times, okay, um, you know, with the pandemic going on. And uh, we're doing our best to keep COVID out of Comfort House. Um, you know, adding a hurricane on top of that, um, just, it's a big eye opener, you know. David Perez's staff does pretty much everything for their residents cooking, medication preps, and in case of an emergency, those caretakers will be the ones to evacuate residents, along with everything they need to take care of them. Each one of their 10 residents has their own binder of important information. So, uh, each staff member knows who's in charge of medication, who's in charge of contact information, who's in charge of um, all the uh, important things that need to be taken out so that nothing is destroyed. But now because of COVID-19, they have to add to their game plan. On top of evacuation drills, they also have to make sure they're securing personal protective equipment and maintaining infection control measures, as well as isolation protocols. But as says, they've also been in contact with their board of directors and other community agencies on what's the best way to plan. We get a service twice a year, uh, just to make sure that everything is up and going uh, to par. And this is actually, you know, what uh, will help save us during a natural disaster. So in the last two historic rain events here in the valley, they've been able to weather the storms thanks to their generator. He hopes it'll be able to do the same this time around again if it gets that bad. According to the National Weather Service, this year's hurricane forecast is above average, but as says, they'll hope for the best and be ready for the worst. In McAllen, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News, this weekend.